Hello folks, this is Sula speaking. You're listening to another commentary, and this one's going to go into the old retro gaming corner. This one's going to be for an SNES game called King Arthur's World. I don't know how many people are familiar with this game. This one's probably a bit more obscure than some of the ones I've done, but I did play this game when I was growing up, when I was, I don't know, about 12 or 13 years old. And it's actually a pretty fun game, so I'm going to do a little bit of a let's play here with it. It's basically a puzzle game, sort of a mixture of puzzle and strategy. It, uh, the best comparison I can make is it's a little bit like Lemmings, only instead of Lemmings that can't do anything, you have units that can fight back. Anyway, this is kind of an amusing introduction screen that you can see. But basically, you are King Arthur, and you have to go through these different levels, and you have, like, knights and archers and engineers. It's pretty interesting. So, anyway, let's go ahead and get this started. It, it, it's actually not letting me start. Come on. All right, come on. There we go. All right, so let's get started. I do want to make one quick change to my army. I like to set the default number of knights from five up to six. I'll explain that later. But anyway, let's get started. You start by doing training missions. Arthur's search for an army, and training one is with archers. Archers are one of the most basic units. The There are a whole bunch of different units you can use, but the basic ones are archers, knights, and engineers are the ones you're gonna use the most often. So, this is the screen. You control these units. I'm gonna use my archers first of all to kill the enemy units right there. So th there's lots of different traps on each map. Like right here, there's a very simple trap, just a pitfall that opens, so you have to be careful to time when you walk your units over them. Note that it's opening up behind my archers. So I'm gonna have the archers, and the archers can shoot at three different levels, high, medium, low. Looks like low is good enough to kill that guy. There we go. Take him out. Note that if he walked next to the bell there, he can drop fire onto my guys. You see the two little things on either side of the bell, and they just reactivated? It can drop fire on your guys. So anyway, let's go ahead and kill the slingers. The slingers are dangerous. There we go. Take out the slingers. And I'm gonna start Archer Arthur walking towards the side, back side of the level, but we have to be careful he doesn't walk into the pit, so let's go ahead and stop him there. Okay, so yeah, let's go ahead and kill this guy. There he goes, we've taken him out. Now we just have to have Ar Arthur walk and finish the level. If you hit the action button while you're on the little sword icon, it uh, activates his it's like a pump up thing, you use it when you're fighting. Anyway, so the way that you end the level is you have Arthur touch the little treasure chest at the end of the level. Now the one downside of the game is you cannot, you there's no fast forward option. I really would like to fast forward here, for example. I actually tried to fast forward, I'm actually trying to fast forward while playing right now, but although I can do that through emulation, it apparently doesn't get saved when I then convert this into a video file, so it doesn't really matter one way or the other. Well done, you have completed the test. So that's training one, it's pretty simple. Again, you have to protect Arthur. If Arthur ever dies, you lose the level. So let's go on to the second one. Training two, barrel men. Needed a team of mercenaries able to handle gunpowder. That's funny, I never heard about that when reading about King Arthur. Must have missed that part. Apparently, in order to get the sword out of the stone, Arthur blew up the stone. But uh, barrel men are useful for a number of different things. They're useful to disarm certain traps. So anyway, let's keep an eye on this. By the way, Arthur can get hit by those slingers up at the top, so it's a little bit dangerous. He can also get hit by the fire here. Uh-oh. So let's get him out of the way, and then let's pull another barrelman out of the tent. You can have up to three units out of the tent at once, and that's where your units come out. You are uh, limited to, there's a certain number of men, unfortunately... Uh, let's scroll him off the screen. I'm gonna use the barrelman to blow up this trap, and oh my god, look at the two slingers! They just got burned horribly to death when that ladder caught on fire. So yes, like I said, it's a little bit like Lemmings, only unlike Lemmings, you get to kill people. So that's why I always like this game. Anyway, there are that's where the treasure chest is up ahead. So we've got to use the barrelman to blow up this door again. Unfortunately, there's no way. Oh, I'm gonna scroll them off the screen. By the way, if you scroll, if you tell units to go back to the tent and then scroll them off the screen, they just disappear. That wall should be down to the left, and yes, it is. All right, I'm gonna queue up three barrelmen here. Again, three is the max units you can have out of the tent. On the SNES controller, you switch back and forth between them by hitting Y, uh, Y, and then the direction you want to go. So we need to burst down that door. This is unfortunately kind of like a shooting gallery. Those slingers will have a chance to kill these barrelmen, so hopefully none of them will get hit. It's just a matter of luck, basically, as to whether they get killed. Oh, God, look at that bullet. Went right between the two of them. If they get hit by one of those slinger's bullets, they will die. Oh, and there's the fire coming down from that little... I don't know what to call it. Anyway, I'll just have them all drop their barrels and go off. 
Looks like that first one burned down the thatch roof up ahead. And there they go. But there's really no way to kill those enemies on this level. So now we sit and wait and let Arthur walk towards the end of the level. I do have to uh, make sure he doesn't get hit by the fire that that guy can drop. That little drop of fire. That will kill him. He can take a slinger's bullet without dying though. See how he has the big heart? The heart is how much health he has left. So let's just keep an eye on this. He should be okay. Uh, uh, he's good. He's good. He made it underneath the fire. There we go. So the first couple levels are pretty simple. Oh, I actually did pick up a little bit of gold when the chain thingy that dropped from the ceiling blew up. Gold doesn't really do anything in this game. It's more of a way of keeping score. You can't really do anything with the gold. You might think you could buy stuff with it, but no, you really can't. All right, training three, knights and soldiers. Soldiers are very rarely used, but knights are one of the key units that you use all throughout this. The knights are your melee fighters. If you want to kill something up close, you use knights. All right, I need to, I'm going to pull a soldier out of the tent. These are the shield guys. They're very rarely useful. There are a couple situations you want them, but not too useful. They just stand there and block. So, all right, let's use our knights. And again, I have six, I set the knights on the option screen to have groups of six. Now I'm going to have one group stop right there because enemies are going to come out of that building. The rest of these guys, I'm just going to send forward. And watch, as I kill guys, more guys come out of the building. Yeah, that's something they do throughout this game. When you kill enemies, more enemies come out of the building. So the knights are just going to mix it up and start killing these guys. This is, a, this is sort of a really awkward level. There's not much you can do other than just send the knights in and have them start killing stuff. A bit inelegant compared to some of the other levels, but there's not much you can do. I'm just going to keep hitting the strength key there with the action button. That's the B button on the SNES controller. Just going to keep using that over and over again. Controls for this game are pretty simple. Yeah, there's the other group of knights killing more guys. Still more of those enemy soldiers coming out of the building. We did manage to catch up to the slingers though, so let's terminate them with extreme prejudice. The slinger attack deals a lot of damage, but they die instantly if they get hit. They only take one hit to die. So there's only two of these knights left, unfortunately. I'm going to keep trying to pump them up. And there's only one of that knight left. Let's send him back to the tent and get a new group of knights out of here. Alright, so they'll keep killing these guys. And I still have another knight off to the west, but I think that's going to get killed as well. Not much you can do other than just stand here and kill these guys. There's only one guy left. Come on, fight! Oh, he got taken down, sadly. Let's bring another group of knights out. Maybe not. These guys might be able to take care of it. I guess they've got it. And that pretty... Alright, no more guys are coming out of the house. So, I think we're pretty good. Come on, Arthur. Let's go. These guys can escort Arthur. Oh, wow, there's still quite a few of those guys. But no more coming out of the house. I'll just... Yeah, it doesn't look like there's any more coming out of the house. We'll let these guys take care of it. Clear the way. Clear a path for Arthur. So that he can walk up and touch the magical treasure chest that ends the level. A bit violent, though. You do wonder where... If these are supposed to be training levels, where are they getting all the people from that are getting killed over and over again? Wow. These knights are... Taking a lot of damage, but I think they'll be okay. There's one guy left. Can he do it? Yes! Yes! He made it through. Nice. So those are knights. They're pretty simple. Use them to kill stuff up close. They tend to take very heavy casualties. That's why I have them set to a group of six instead of a group of five. Now, you don't have unlimited numbers of enemies, of your guys, too. If enough of them die, they won't keep coming out of the tent. You have a fixed number. You are supposed to be able to see that right under the interface, but for some reason, it's scrolled off the bottom of the screen. Generally speaking, though, you have to screw up pretty badly to run out of units. They give you enough units normally to make it through. Well done. You have completed the test. Looks like they're having a little nice drink there. Getting a little friendly with that guy on the left side. And this game does use passwords. All right, training for engineers. These are sort of the other unit that you will be using constantly. The engineers are needed to overcome hazards, as it says, construct devices, and we're going to need to make use of them in this level too. So first thing we want to do, let's fill that pit. Pit of spikes, need to fill that. Okay, that'll take care of two engineers. Now I'm going to use the other three to build a catapult. This is something you rarely get to do, but the catapult just lets you shoot. And let's see, go ahead, hit it. And he's going to shoot fire. And right there, we're going to burn down that door. You can adjust the height at which the catapult fires. Oh, oh, nope, that guy did not get hit by the fire. Not too many guys here. Oh, we got him on that one, though. So there's only one guy left. Let's see if we can hit that guy at the bottom. Uh, he went up the ladder, so probably not. Probably not. Send them back to the tent. So let's bring the engineers, and let's bring Arthur. There's only a couple more. Arthur can kill that one guy. Arthur is pretty good at killing them. Where is the special little treasure chest on this map? 
I'll help them climb up. So you can build platforms, you can fill in spikes, you can also knock down walls with the battering ram, which is basically duplicates what the barrelman can do, but there are some situations where you don't want to use a barrelman, you'd rather use a battering ram. There we go, Arthur can kill that guy pretty easily. Now we've just got to knock down the door, and that'll be it for this level. Pretty straightforward, but a little introduction to the engineers. I guess I'll talk a little bit more about the controls while they're knocking down this door. Again, you move around with the D-pad, the A button selects from those commands down at the bottom. You hold A and then you can move back and forth. So like you can select to build the different options with the engineers. The B button is then the action button and then Y switches between different groups. So that's pretty, that's it, pretty simple. Oh, training five. This is actually the most difficult of the training levels, wizards. The wizards are useful, but you only get wizards in this level and they're useful in more of a supporting role. So they are quite dangerous to use. So this is the Black Wizard. He has all sorts of different spells. I'm going to cast the Lightning spell, which is useful, but it also has the possibility of killing Arthur. So watch, I'm going to use the White Mage, or White Wizard, and I'm going to have him cast the Invincibility spell. This is actually the easiest way to get through the level. It's just to make Arthur invincible and have him kill everything. But I do want to get a chance to use some of the Black Magic spells too. Arthur, though, took some damage. I'm going to have him use the, the Health spell the heart, and that's going to give Arthur his health back. Unfortunately, that lightning is still coming down. Let's go ahead and cast the invincibility spell. Or wait, Arthur wasn't on the screen. I just guess he didn't get advantage of that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Arthur's pretty strong, but I don't think he can fight all these guys. Uh-oh. Oh my god, am I going to lose this level? I need to get a white wizard out. Fast. Heal him. Heal him. Use the healing spell. Okay. That, I think that restored Arthur's health. Uh-oh. Oh, oh no! <laughs> I tried to bring a wizard out, but he just died instantly. Come on, come on, get the invincibility spell off. Or he got the health spell off. Got the health spell off. So Arthur's back to full strength. Now we need to get another white wizard out and cast the invincibility spell. Come on. There we go. Now Arthur can't be killed. Wow, he did take some damage there somehow. Let's heal him back up again. All right, he's back up to full. Well, that didn't last very long. Oh, did the health spell interrupt his invincibility? I think it might have. I hope you can see how this is a little bit of a difficult level. Just having one unit of knights would make this so easy. Okay, let's get the invincibility spell back on, and I believe that might have been the last invincibility spell. So now Arthur can just cut his way through these enemies because he can't take damage. He is invincible so long as this lasts. And I don't see anyone else coming out of that house, so I think we're finally good. Let's cast a Rain of Fire spell just for fun. So this one causes fire to rain down from the sky. But it will kill your soldiers as well as enemy soldiers. You actually can get that slinger up there on top of the level. The guy up on the tower. You can kill him with a black wizard, but I don't think it was worth the effort. Yeah, that one is tough. That one is very difficult. The easiest way is just to cast the invincibility spell on Arthur and keep refreshing it. That one was a little dangerous for a, for a while there. Alright, those are all the pieces of your army. Now the last couple training missions, combine them together. This one's archers and barrelmen together. So now you're going to start mixing them. Let's go ahead and first things first, we got to kill these guys up on the rooftop, the slingers. See if we can kill them with the archers. Actually, they just, wow, they managed to kill one of my archers. But even No, they killed two archers. Wow, they actually killed two archers in the five seconds it took to get my archers out and firing up there. So yeah, got to be on your toes at the start of this one. Let's get rid of that guy. You can scroll the camera left and forth with L and R. You can also scroll up and down when using the camera. And there we go. So now we're going to need a couple more barrel men. Take out these chain thingies. Bring Arthur along to pick up the gold. Let's not get too hasty here. And come on. Put that down. Scroll him off the screen. He magically goes back into the tent as soon as he's off screen. Barrelman can pick up the gold coins. Come on, Arthur. And I... Uh, did he survive or did he die? I honestly don't know. <laughs> But it was fast, and that's what matters. So one more barrelman will bring down the door, but in the meantime, let's get some archers out because there are enemies on the other side of that door. By the way, note that this is the same level we played before with minor tweaks. They recycle some of these training levels, I guess, to save uh, assets. You can also queue up commands ahead of time. You might have noticed I told the archers to walk up the ladder before they actually got to the ladder. All right, so go ahead and... Oh, no, they're... They're not in quite the right position. Let's get these guys all firing in the right direction. Wait until they all switch directions, then turn, position these guys correctly. I don't know why the archers look like they're bald. I don't know if they're supposed to be wearing little hats or something, but it looks like they're all have no hair for some reason. 
Anyway, this is a perfect vantage point. The enemies can't hurt us. The archers are just going to kill them all. There are way too many enemies to try to fight through without using archers. Generally speaking, archers are what you need to use to kill most enemies throughout the game because if you just try to use knights, the knights will take too many casualties. You'll run out of knights. So you pretty much need to use archers to do most of the killing. Archers can hit from a distance and kill in safety. There we go. That should be the last guy. Nobody's coming out of the door anymore. All right, let's go ahead and put this down. I have to make sure it's next to the door or else it won't get both at once. Get this guy out of the screen and up. Oh, oh my god, did you see that? My archer just got horribly burned to death because he was standing too close to the ladder when it caught on fire. So friendly fire enabled in this game. The barrelman, there's another door up ahead that I'm going to need to blast open with a barrelman right there. But my archer should be able to kill these guys. Unfortunately there's a sniper way 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 up top in that top tower, did you see him? There's a sniper way, way, way up there, and that guy you can't actually kill. You can't reach him with your arrows, so there's not much you can do about that. You can kill the other two guys, the other three guys, I should say, but you can't kill that guy way, way, way up top. Come on, just take a step forward. There we go. Get rid of that guy, and let's bring the barrelman forward and Arthur forward. Ah, oh, look at that sniper. He just took out two archers with well-placed slinger balls. Anyway, this guy should be pretty easy to kill. Yeah, there we go. So he's done. Get the archers out of here. And wow, did you see how close the barrelman came to blowing up there? Just barely dodged that shot. It's a shame, if I had engineers, I could build a catapult, and a catapult could hit that guy up in the tower, but no engineers on this map, unfortunately. And archers cannot reach that high. Not uh, I've tested it before, they can't hit it. Guy's out of range. Alright, there we go, so that's the end of this level. Killed all but one guy. Lost a couple archers. Otherwise, not too eventful. Did pick up a little bit of gold when the spiky things got blown up. There it is, 26 gold. Gold, what you can do with gold is it allows you to continue. It functions like a continue. If you die on a mission, you can use gold to restart the mission, but it's really pointless because if you wrote down the password, you can just do the exact same thing without spending gold. That's why I think of gold as just being score. Anyway, archers, barrelmen, knights, and soldiers. This is pretty much archers and knights on this one along with Barrelman to blow up doors. All right, so now we can finally start combining together as we piece together the army. We're gonna use the knights and archers together. This is something that you have to do frequently throughout the game. Put the knights in front, have them serve as a meat shield. We'll use them right here, and then use the archers to shoot these guys down. Remember, that building's suspicious. Enemies are gonna come out of that building, so as soon as we start killing these guys, more enemies are gonna pile out of the building. They're all walking in the opposite direction. So the knights are, well, let's swat to short range here. See, the knights are making sure the archers don't just get killed instantly when these guys come out of the building. Just for protection, archers can't defend themselves. They die. They're just like the slingers. The archers will die immediately if anyone walks up and touches them. Still, more guys coming out of the building. The buildings are a little bit like clown cars in this game. Enemies just keep coming out of them over and over and over again, and you have to keep killing them until they stop coming out. Some of them walk walking to the left, some of them walking to the right. If the bodies didn't disappear, that would be much more amusing in my mind. You just have these stacks and stacks of bodies piling up outside this door. For whatever reason, these guys, when they die, they die with an arrow animation, even if the knights kill them. But they always die with a little arrow in their chest, regardless. So, can see what's up ahead. We've got another sniper nest of sl slingers up there. Gotta kill them, and then we actually have to go underground to find the chest in this training mission. It's down below. There's a little doorway and ladder. Alright, that's everybody in, the, in that building, so let's move forward. The knights, once again, protecting the archers. And I think we can hit these guys up ahead. Keep sending the knights up ahead. Uh, let's, do we need, uh, I think we need medium? Yes, medium will work here. And then we're going to have to switch the long range to hit those guys up in the tower. Here comes some more guys. Now the knights can probably get most of these, but we'll give them a little bit of cover fire. Yeah, see how the knights are absorbing those slinger blows? I should be in range right around now to hit these guys. And now that we can shoot back, they will fall pretty easily. Okay. All right, so, oh wait, there's one more slinger. Let's, I think I can hit him from up here. Yes, yes, right over the tower. That's a pretty impressive shot. Okay, so down there, down there is where the gold chest is. So let's get rid of the archers. They're back in the tent. We need a barrelman and then we need Arthur. Actually, I think we need two barrelmen. Let's bring another one. And now the fun part of the game, waiting for Arthur to get here. <laughs> I guess I should talk, I'll just talk a little bit more about my experience with this game. This was a game that one of my friends had. I didn't own this game, but 
someone in my neighborhood, one of my boyhood friends did, and we actually enjoyed this game quite a bit, but we could never beat some of the last levels towards the end of the game. After I got older, I went ahead and played through this game to completion. I don't really like some of the later levels. They're a little too puzzly and not enough action for my taste. I like the levels where you're fighting a lot of guys. I mean, the puzzle elements are nice, but there's, there's a certain pleasure to actually fighting and killing the enemies too. All right, so the knights, as soon as this blows up, the knights are gonna clear the way. I hope nobody gets hit by fire. Well, Arthur did, but no, no, he's full, full health. It looked like he got hit there. We needed to check that. So the knights will clear the way. Arthur could kill this guy too, but I've already got the knights here. Why not? We'll use our strong arms to take this guy down. There we go. Now we need a bar a knight, Arthur and the Barrelman. Arthur should probably wait up here so he doesn't get hit by the fire when this thing goes off. Send the knights back too. Boop. Magically go back to the tent. And there it goes. By the way, if you're wondering what that little icon on the right is, do you see the two little footprints? That is the pause icon. Yes, the, it's a terrible pun, of course. It's a, it's, if you hit that, it pauses the game. Now, that's pretty stupid because hitting the pause key, or excuse me, hitting the start key also pauses the game. So there's really no reason for that function, but I guess they thought it was clever. That, or they had a little bit of extra room on the interface, and they realized they just had to fill it somehow. So yes, every unit can pause the game by hitting the pause button. Ugh. Anyway, training eight, archers, barrelmen, knights, soldiers, engineers. This is basically the full army. It's everything except wizards, but wizards are pretty rarely used in this game. They tend to be more of specialist units. You might notice this is the same map that the engineers were on before, but there's a lot more on this map. Oh God, he got taken out by a slinger. Well, I was gonna have these guys build a catapult, but now I need a new fresh group of engineers because it takes three engineers to build a catapult. Three engineers to build a catapult, four to build a new tent, there are, on later maps, you can build new tents. We'll get to that later. Wow, that was a nice shot. So anyway, let's keep an eye on these guys. They're going to burn down the door. Let's uh, increase the range a little bit. And, oh, that looked very, very painful. Very painful. Oh, my goodness. And, wait, there there are two soldiers coming down. Actually, I need to get some knights out right now. Because these these... Those two soldiers are coming, and they're going to kill the catapult guy if I don't bring him out to protect. Oh, I'm... Wait a minute. I'm stuck on the pause icon here. Hold on. Ugh. That pause icon is very irritating. I don't know why it does that. Anyway, we'll keep the knights around, and meanwhile start shooting these guys. See, that's a pretty heavy concentration of enemy units. So we'll use the catapult to thin them out a little bit, burn these guys down. Oh my goodness, look at all those guys getting burned. More people coming out of that door up top. Can I get the guy up on top of that tower? A good shot will kill that guy. The exact height that these catapult shots come out is a little bit random. See, they're getting blocked by that tower, but a good shot will still go through and kill that guy. Wow, he just missed that one. Come on, come on. There, well, that only got one guy. More people are still coming out of that door, so let's get a few more shots in here. Oh, that was a good one. Wow, that just burned about four or five guys. I mean, it's cartoony, but it's it's pretty violent at the same time when watching these guys just get burned to death. Anyway, I'll leave that thing firing. Let's see if we can start moving forward. Let's send the knights back. And then uh, we need another team of engineers so that they can build that platform to climb up there. And let's grab a group of archers too. Archers should, if I'm careful with the archers, they should be able to kill these guys without getting in too much danger. See those guys? I don't have, now I don't have knights for protection, so this is going to be a little bit tricky, but if I get the short range, I should be able to kill these guys before they get too close. So this is a little bit dangerous, but hopefully I can kill these guys before they get close enough. So I've got catapult fire still coming down from up top and the archers shooting down here. Let's take out those guys in the bell tower. Nope. They climb back up the ladder. Well, they're going to get hit by something eventually, whether it is by catapult fire or the archers shooting down here. By the way, note, note the key there. Need to use that key in a little bit later in this level. So not too many more guys here. Just two more, it looks like. Wow, did you see that? The catapult fire burned down the little platform. One of my archers got dropped down. Anyway, I'm going to send the recall the catapult. Did good work, catapult. Need a team of engineers. I don't think we need archers. Let's grab a team of knights. And we'll see if we need anything else. We're going to need barrelmen eventually. But for now, we'll build this. Get the knights up here. Where's Arthur? He's in there somewhere. Come on, Arthur. Climb up here too. Arthur is the only one who can pick up and use keys in this game. I'm going to need him to pick up that key. I actually do not need to take down the wall on the left. There's nothing there. Can you see the outline of a door on the left side there? 
that is a door that will lead down to the basement and Arthur is going to have to pick up a key and open that door and then we can go down there and start getting the chest. See down here, that's where the door leads. Go ahead and grab that key. These guys can go back. What I need now is I'm gonna need Barrelman. Arthur, stop mindlessly walking back and forth. These guys are a little bit like lemmings in that sense. I'm gonna need a couple Barrelmen. I think I might need another one after that. There's a couple things to blow up down there. All right, so I'm gonna open the door and there's not too much down here. I'm gonna open the door back and send Arthur back. Oh, these guys, ugh, they walked up to the, I didn't tell them to climb the platform, that was a mistake. <laughs> they turned around and walked back. I did tell that following guy to walk up. If you hit up while they're walking, they'll climb the next ladder. Or if you hit down while they're walking, they'll go down the next ladder. Similar idea. So you do have a little bit of remote control over these guys. You can queue up actions ahead of time. There we go, that should have blown it up. Didn't see it on screen, but it did happen. We'll get these, and I actually, you know, I could bring another Barrelman, but let's just skip this one. Let's just blow up, let's just blow this up. Blow up the door. We'll just, I don't know, let's just not bother with the time to go back and bring another Barrelman or another team of engineers. All right, knights, clear the way. Take out those guys down there. Now, the problem is a group of, wow, actually, <laughs> I don't even need to do anything. They'll all die on the spiky thing eventually. Now, the problem is a team of, Six cannot get underneath this thing before it falls, so some of them are going to get caught. Oh, that was very messy. But they did clear the way for Arthur, and that's what matters. Sorry about that. Uh, you, you guys can pick up your pensions. Uh, you can Feel free to send your pensions to uh, their widows. Serving in Arthur's army is dangerous work. But it saved the time of walking another unit all the way up there, and that's what matters, right? Am I right? Anyway, on to the next mission. Well done, you have completed the task. I'm sure that that is a lot of relief to the families of those poor knights who just got the living daylights crushed out of them. Okay, on to the last training mission, training nine, the army. Arthur put his entire army through one last challenge. So this is the last of the training missions. This is the one where you have all of the units. And this is an actually a bit of a unique level in the sense that you actually do need soldiers for this level. This is about the only level you need soldiers because they roll these boulders towards you at the start and the shield guys shove them back and crushes the living daylights out of those guys. Once again, I'm not sure why they have an arrow animation when they get crushed by a boulder, but hey, it's a fantasy game. It works, right? Let's do uh, archers and engineers right now. There are still some enemy units walking towards me. See that guy coming? I should be able to get him with the archers though. One hit, he just needs one more hit on this guy. Nope, all right. Engineers, you stand in place. We should be able to shoot this guy down though. We only need one more hit. Those platforms right there are dropping platforms. They will uh, drop the soldiers down at some point. Hopefully not on top of the heads of these units. All right, we got that guy. We got that guy. Okay, this should work out. Uh, need to switch to short range. Uh-oh. Oh no, the range is too short. He's gonna murder all the engineers. Get out of there. Get out of there, archers. Okay. Well, that's five engineers down. <laughs> I guess I should have brought some knights with me. Oh well. Let's uh, get those engineers and some archers again because there are more enemies. Yes, there's a slinger on his way. Let's see if we can hit this guy. Yes, we should be able to get this guy. Come on, a little bit further. Little more, little more. Come on, yes! <laughs> you know, the waiting is half the fun sometimes. Anyway, this is pretty simple to do. There's another tent location up ahead. This is the first time that I can see that. So we'll tell those engineers to go and move the tent. Come on, Arthur, you start walking. And we're gonna tell these guys to build a new tent. Any place there's an empty pole, you can move the tent, and then your units come out of the new tent instead of back at the start of the level. By the way, something else weird about this game, have you noticed that in this game, oh wait, come on, build the tent. There we go. So they'll start collapsing the old tent and putting up a new tent right there. Have you noticed in this game you're always moving from right to left instead of from left to right like you do in most games? Kind of weird. I don't really know why that is. I guess they just wanted to be different, but in the, uh, just about every single level in this game, you do move from right to left for some reason. Maybe maybe the people who made this were dyslexic or something. 
I don't know. Okay, so this is what we still have up ahead, all those guys. The treasure chest is right in the middle there. You can't really see it because there's so many enemies. So we got to clear away. Let's use a mixture of different units here. Let's set up engineers. They've got to break down the wall. Knights for protection and then archers. So we'll, this is a sort of the most basic combo. Uh, notice I'm using engineers here. If you use a barrelman to blow up that door, uh, it burns the wooden platform that they're standing on, and then everybody falls into the water. So yes, you have to use engineers to take down this door. That or be prepared to rebuild that entire bridge over the water. Okay, so come on, archers. No, you shoot. There we go. All right, so engineers got the door down. Now we need to shoot these guys, kill these guys, and then go ahead and get this last guy, and then we should be cleared. There we go. Okay. So, now, we could clear out those guys, or we can use a Black Wizard here. He doesn't have all his spells available, but he can cast either Rain of Fire or Lightning Storm. Whatever, I don't know if these are official names or whatnot, but that's how I think of them. Let's try to use the Lightning, the lightning Bolt Storm. He can walk right in the middle of these guys and kill them all with Bolts of Lightning. Let's do this. Alright, let's go over and boom! Oh, look at the Lightning! Uh, let's let's watch this for a second. Include killing that super soldier who fires off the bolts of energy. Oh, by the way, more guys come out of the doors, so we're still going to need the archers and knights to kill some of these guys. Oh, look at the lightning. It's just ripping them apart. That knight who shoots the bolts of energy. There we go. Boom. He blows up. Uh, unfortunately, that lightning is friendly fire, as I've said before, and that will kill my units if they walk up there, too. So, uh, yeah, let's. we just have to wait. Just have to wait for that to end. So back to the tent, back to the tent. And let's have Arthur go ahead and pick up this gold while we're waiting. Note the pile of gold up there. Arthur's the only one who can pick up piles of gold. Other units can pick up the little gold coins, but Arthur's the only one who can pick up the actual the actual piles of gold. Oh no! That bridge got burned down. Well, let's use engineers. They can bridge the gap here. I'll use two squads of engineers and I'll tell them to plug the gap with their little droppy things. What are, you, what are you doing? Why he just walked in? What the heck? I told him to put I told him to put down the little bridge gap thingy. Whatever. Well, that guy, we're not missing that guy. He he probably would have he probably would have found a way to kill himself regardless. Like lemmings, I tell you, like lemmings. All right, so now we just got to walk up to the top and grab the chest up the ladder. By the way, note how his shield changed directions while he's climbing the ladder. You can tell them to walk in a certain direction while they're climbing the ladder, too. I told him to reverse direction when he got to the top. So we got more gold. Like I said, gold doesn't really do anything, but we do have 53 pieces. And that's all. We've now completed the training missions. Well done. Completed the test. Many men died, but we tested the army. Apparently that's all that matters. I'm going to go ahead and do the first full level here. Real World 1, Battle for High Castle. King Arthur was pleased, now they're ready for their first battle. Let's do the first real level here, known as Real World. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and, well, what we need to do is clear out this big pocket of units. I'll use the knights to protect, and then I'll use the archers as usual to kill. By the way, at the beginning of this level, there's always a ton of slowdown. I don't know why that is. I, I think it's just there's too many things moving on the screen at once. And the SNES can't quite handle it. So we'll swap to medium range and let's start killing these guys. By the way, look how fast the slingers go down once they get hit. Oh, that guy got down into the ladder. Well, that's no big deal. We'll hunt him down and kill him later. Nobody coming out of that particular house, though. It's a little bit surprising. By now, you're so conditioned to just expect guys to come out of the houses. Down here, there's a little mining area. Two guys walking around. Up ahead, there is a flagpole. So... That's actually a very easy to reach flagpole. Let's just use the knights and uh, Art. let's grab Arthur. There's a pile of gold on the ground for no reason too. I'm gonna send one group of knights down here and then I'm gonna send another group of knights forward to protect the engineers and Arthur. But I do wanna send a group of knights down there to kill these enemies that walk down into the underground. I guess I don't have to kill them, but I, I never like having enemies that are just out there. Always feels a little bit unsafe. All right, I think the game is starting to speed back up towards a normal pace. Anyway, this is probably a little bit of overkill. Six knights to kill this one guy. Eh, he went down pretty fast. Okay, so let's head down. Have one group of knights head down here. Arthur, you chill. 
Come on, you guys keep heading forward, and these two knights will trap anything between them. Alright, so we've got the tent getting set up by the engineers. And let's see, what do we want to do? These guys are about to fight. They've managed to catch one guy down here. Yep, that was pretty easy. What else is up ahead down here? We actually it just meets up with where the knights are up ahead there. Alright, so these guys, back to the tent. Let's grab these knights. And they can head down there. Oh no, actually, let's use archers instead. The archers can kill all those guys. And then, wow, there's another tent up there. I forgot that this level gives you a lot of tents. You guys go ahead and start filling the platforms up there. You knights go back to the tent. And let's get these guys walking in the right direction. You guys fill in that space up there. All right. So multitasking, doing more thing at once, more than one thing at a time. Yeah, these guys are sitting ducks. For, I guess they never bother to climb the ladder. Oops. Well, one of those engineers got killed. Two of those engineers got killed. Oh, my. Very sloppy by me. All right. That didn't work. You guys... Back to the tent. Faster than walking up there. Alright, so archers. We gotta clear out the archers before we... We gotta clear out their slingers up there before we can move the tent forward. Just for safety's sake. One nice thing is archers do outrange slingers. So, if they're... Even if the slingers are a little bit higher in elevation, like these guys are, it's still easy to clear them out. So, we'll kill all these guys. They'll fall pretty quickly. Now let's bring up the engineers. Have them... Tell them to build a tent. Arthur, you come forward too. And let's go. Doesn't look like there's anything down there. I, I seem to remember the bottom of this level is just a dead end from when I played it before. Actually, that's not true. It's not a dead end, but you can advance the same way by just going through the middle of the level. All right, looks like it's safe. You guys can probably head back. Arthur, you chill back here. I guess I'll bring him across the spike pit. And they're putting up the tent. Let's see, I'm gonna need engineers to knock that door down. Arthur can grab that key. Yeah, this is the bottom route. It doesn't doesn't really help you that much. You can go through the bottom, but I'll just go through... I think I'm going to go through the middle of the level first. Alright, these guys knock the door down. Archers, you cover. You guys provide supporting cover fire. Knights might be better here, but the archers are already out of the tent. So I might as well use them. Then I'm going to need more engineers to knock down the next door. And now uh, that was pretty easy. Let's see... Let's go ahead and get some more engineers, knock down the next door. Arthur, I'd prefer to have you in a place where you're a little bit safer. Go down and get that key, you should be safe down there. Remember, Arthur's the only one who can pick up keys, and there's a door to go into right there too. The game just suggests that you go down there by putting the door right next to the key. No notice though, if I grab the gold up there, the one on the left, uh, it will burn down that bridge. Alright, so we gotta first fill these platforms. We're gonna need a barrelman to take out that spiky thing. The engineers can't take that out. Uh, we wanna build a platform up here so Arthur can grab that pile of gold later. Go back to the tent. Need a barrelman. Where is it? There it is. Okay. In the meantime, we'll just go ahead and look at what's up ahead. I need to kill that thing. Then I need to build some platforms. I'm gonna need more engineers. Let's send some engineers forward too. One interesting thing is, let's see, oh, there's a, there's a couple more of those knights that shoot the energy blasts. We'll have to take those out. One thing that's interesting is when this thing goes off, it always burns that tapestry. Oh, God. And, oh, I should have been a little bit more careful there. Well, that barrelman, he should have been, he should have been faster at getting back to the tent. <laughs> and then one of the engineers got taken out by the fire. So, that's the, by the way, do you see the king back there? The way you win the these levels is Arthur has to walk up and touch the king, the enemy king, and I guess they surrender at that point. Uh, there's another thing of gold up there. I may decide to go up and get that. It depends on if it's worth the time or not. Okay, archers. What else do we need? Knights. And engineers, the three basic units you use the most. Let's again see what's up ahead. So we want to try to kill that glowy guy, the knight that down there. Note that he's got like this, he's got a pretty nice killing field down there. His ability to shoot those energy blasts as you cross over there. Engineers will have to fill that pit of spikes. Anyway, I will. Tr I think I can get this guy with archers if I remember this level correctly. The knights can go ahead and kill that, kill that guy up ahead though. Rest of you wait while he, these knights go ahead and kill this guy. 
There we go. All right, so that was pretty easy. You do have to be a little bit careful. See the trap door? If you fall from that trap door, it, I believe it will kill most of your units if you fall that far. Okay, archers. There we go. All right, hurry, hurry, hurry. Get down here before this guy turns around. Let's kill him. One hit, two hits, three. Oh, oh, he's taking out the archers. Oh, this isn't good. Get out of there. Run. Well, one of them made it out. Uh, plan B. Uh, plan B, fill in the spike pit with the engineers and then kill him with the knights. Yes, let's do this. They're going to have to get back to the tent really fast as soon as this happens. Mm, come on, get out of there! Well, he got one of them. Alright, knights. Up to you to kill this guy. He has now killed four of my soldiers. I believe it was four. Let's see if we can take this guy down. As soon as he turns around, go, 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 go! Come on, come on! Every time he stops to shoot, that gives us more time to catch up. Oh, I would not want to be the front guy in this line. Oh, that's not good, but yeah! The guy number two gets him, and he explodes. Very, very nice. Of course, there is still another one of these glowy guys that we're going to have to deal with. Well, for now, send them back to the tent. And let's call on a specialist. Let's grab a wizard and use him to take care of this. I'll use the two engineers that survived to knock down the door. You only need two people to knock down a door with a battering ram. You can use up to five, but two will get it done. Only two. And that probably should clear the way in this level. Come on, you two. Knock down that door. There we go. All right. So the wizards, other spells I haven't used yet. Note the one with the skull and crossbones. This is the death spell. Kills all enemies on the screen. You normally, they actually very rarely give you access to this spell. It's a very, very powerful spell, but you normally don't have access to it. Watch. Let's get them all on the screen. Boom! Glowy guy just disappears. The other guy is dead. So that should be the whole level, really. Now it's just a matter of going around, collecting some of the gold with Arthur, and walking up and finishing off this level. I will go ahead and climb up to that gold up there. And as soon as I touch it, it will burn down the bridge behind Arthur. But I don't think anyone else needs to advance, so I don't think it really matters at this point. There it is. And now there's no way back across. Hope you didn't have any guys standing on that bridge when you went up and grabbed the gold. As I said, I think this game's pretty neat overall. I think it's a pretty fun game to play. It's a little bit slow paced. The only thing I wish, and there doesn't seem to be too much up there at this point, the only thing I wish is that you could increase the walking speed because these guys walk very deliberately. And later on in the game, you have very long expanses to traverse. Normally, the, they start making it further and further between tents as you go throughout the game. So your, enemy, your troops have to walk further and further and further, and they just don't walk that fast. I'm going to wait for Arthur to grab this. Let's go ahead and grab that pile of gold. He should be able to make it back. Yes, should be able to have enough time to make it back. There's another pile of gold up there to the northeast. Up there, but I don't want to bring another team of engineers all the way up there just to get that. So we'll just walk towards the goal. Oh, there is another door though. See the door on the right? Might be a little hard to spot, but there is a door there. We'll go ahead and clear this out and grab the two pile of gold right there. Nice. Doesn't do anything, but it does make you feel better. And then it's just a matter of walking up to the king. See, there's nothing up top here. They designed that top to the capsule. Nothing up there. There's another pile of gold down there. And over to the left, there's nothing over there either. So walk up, touch the king, and come on, come on, mess up that king. Yep, so he surrenders, and that's it. Anyway, I hope this gives you a little bit of a taste for what King Arthur's world is like. If you guys find this interesting, let me know, and I can do more levels. If this was really boring, then I won't. I'll just go with what people think, but wanted to give people a taste of a game that I played when I was a kid and thought was a lot of fun. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed this. See you again soon.